Hi, Cyberspruce here, back with another Enter Adventures New Game Plus 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 Studio, episode 205. And you can see I've grinded a lot of ghostly balsonic runes, and I'm now trying to grind infinity balsonic runes. I also am going to try to decay the bosons here, because, I mean, I do have, I can, actually that's not a lot. I guess I could try to grind some quantum balsonic runes to get more levels of this, but I'm just going to keep grinding infinity balsonic runes so I can get more levels of that. I could even try to get this. That's a lot of levels. It's not even going to spend all that much. It'll spend all the Eternity Bosonic Runes, but that's... I don't really even need Eternity Bosonic Runes at this point. So, like, I, I can do this and then do that, and actually, that's pretty good. 41 times. I'm going to actually... Um, I'm going to disable this and enable that, because that's a lot of Bosonic Battery. And... Now when I do this, I can turn up the Bosonic Overdrive to almost max. I'm going to do 3.08 times, because, yeah, 3.08. And I'm not exactly sure how many bosons I want. I can go into Big Rip while I'm grinding this, just so I can do stuff like this. 130 rewards, and I'm getting pretty close to 17 radioactive decays. And if I dilate time, I'll, it's a few orders of magnitude. I'm just gonna exit out of Big Rip, seeing if I can do anything in photons. I can. Actually, it looks like I can do two um, light empowerments. To, uh, hopefully, this won't take more than 52 ultraviolet light. So that means I'm gonna go into Big Rip as usual and ghostify. So it's gonna give me a decent amount of neutrinos. Still, I'm still not gonna break my max ghost particles. So yeah, let's let's do that. Ghostify and um, ghostly photons, get this, and it's 51, so I can, I can do it again. So that's two, two more. I now need 55 ultraviolet light to get the next light empowerment. I feel like I should have a new boost by now. Um, this seems new. They boost neutrino boosts 1, 6, and 9 by 181%. So now if I go into Big Rip, I'm already back up to E200 billion. When I get my nanofield rewards, that also does a lot. Maybe at this point I want to start converting W plus back to W minus. And maybe I maybe I can dilate time. Actually, I probably first want to just go out of big grip just to get the antimatter. It looks like I'm gonna smash through where I was before. I'm gonna get all the way up to E530 quadrillion, and with that, I should be able to almost match the rewards I had before and get 16 actually 17 radioactive decays because all I need is one more of these middle upgrades and boom 17 radioactive decays that's pretty crazy I can even probably dilate time I can even ghostify for ghost particles for the first time in like forever like which is that's crazy and I can do this but it does almost nothing so yeah that's pretty crazy it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to get 55 ultraviolet light anytime soon but I will try to dilate time. Yep, that's going to give a few more orders of magnitude. And, yeah, all of that's probably going to allow me to break maybe E540 quadrillion. Actually, E550. Yeah, I'm, wow, I'm going to break E550 quadrillion. That's crazy. That That's insane. And you can see I'm now finally starting to get rid of all my delete minus bosons, which means that, okay, I don't have any bosonic battery, unfortunately. Like, what I could do is just grind a little bit of bosonic battery like this, just 100,000, and then convert, and then I can just do this, and yeah, this, just 1.8 times bosonic speed. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of it into here, and I do get the six starting upgrades, and slightly more, better, um, yeah, I'm going to be able to get 14 Higgs bosons, which is crazy, and... Okay, I'm first just going to wait until, okay, I'm going to crank up Bosonic Overdrive, because I don't want to wait for, to get rid of every single W minus Boson. So let's see how much is going to, um, let's see how much I'm going to get. 4 billion? 4.6 billion, or at least with this. So that's pretty good. Um, oh, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm just going to try to max this, just to see if I can get any more. But it doesn't look like I'm going to get any more Higgs Bosons. I could grind this, but I honestly, I'm, I've done this enough, so I think it's time to double my Higgs bosons again. So here we go. 
Boom. So 14 Higgs bosons. I also start with six. The first six upgrades. That's going to be huge. Because that means I can I can extract the bosonic runes much quicker. Or at least I hope. Or not. At least I'll start with more antimatter. Maybe what I need to do is go into Big Rip. Because I only have 16 rewards. Now, of course, already back up to 11, actually 12 radioactive right decays initially. So... That's already a good sign. That means I'm going to start with a lot more bosonic watts than before. Like, I usually I start at like 0.5. Now I'm starting at 6. So, or actually 7. So, just starting like this will... Okay, I need to actually extract the bosonic runes. Still need to do the first three manually, which is annoying, but I just need to just get this, and then get... Oh, okay. Forgot that. If you change it there, it stops extracting the rune that you are currently extracting so yeah now I have two infinity bosonic runes now I just gotta wait 15 seconds for the third while I do that I can yeah I can wake up the anti prion ghost get 13 it's the 13th radioactive decay and here it is one level of this this means I can automatically extract runes I probably want to do infinity bosonic runes at this point and I probably wanna I'm not sure if I Probably want to actually, at first, decay the W boson. Just to get a single W plus, that helps actually quite a lot. So here it is. And then maybe I can now oscillate the Z boson. Thing is, it's just, it's still, it's still kind of slow. I mean, it's a lot faster than it was before, but. Oh, it's not extracting because I'm not using this. Of course, duh. And, I mean, the thing is that, actually, the Z boson does take a while to extract. So. Could just could just do this. I don't really want to get. I don't want to give myself a W minus boson, but you know I've I've gone through this many times, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see when I actually get decent levels of this and that because that that's when things get a lot faster. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back way too long later. I'm just gonna say that, and you can see how many runes I have and how many C bosons I have, and yeah, this is enough to get just a ton of levels, this. 1,080 levels. I'm going to use this, so this will make everything faster. But not only that, I have 17 times faster decay of W, boson and faster conversion speed, W minus W plus. This is going to mean that it's a 32 times, and then another 17 times, which means, yeah, this is going to be way, way, way faster. And this is going to be really nice. Like, you can just see how much faster this is already. And I guess in the meantime, I will go into Big Rip. Because it's been a while since I've been in Big Rip. Even though it's really only going to give one reward and probably not going to give me any radioactive decays, it's, it's something I can do while I'm waiting. And I can now do this. I'll have, I'll have about 750 W plus bosons. I can already start switching to Eternity Bosonic Rune from Infinity Bosonic Rune, because I'm going to be getting a um, much faster extraction. So this is going to allow me to, yeah, you can see now it's one every second, and it's going to be faster and faster and faster as this, as I get more and more of this. And then I can put it all into Z bosons and get Z bosons much quicker. So I'm getting about, this looks like about 100 per minute. So it's something, it's actually not as much as I thought it might be, um, considering how many Quantum Bosonic Runes I have. Not really, I don't want to really want to go for these upgrades until I start getting quantum bosonic runes. But it's at least something. I feel like I'm actually progressing. Again, I guess I can get one more level of this while I'm at it. And actually what I really should do, instead of getting Z-Bos, is to just keep grinding this for hours. Or at least half an hour or something. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back and I have a decent amount of runes. I also have... 64,000 W plus bosons, so this will be enough to get just a few levels of this, and because it's, this is based on bosonic antimatter, this is going to be very powerful. Not only that, I, um, that combined with all of this is going to make getting Z bosons much quicker. So you can see just how much I'm already getting. If I can wait longer, if I can especially get more and more, um, Eternity Bosonic Runes so I can get like more levels of this. The thing is I also need Quantum Bosonic Runes. I could also get this, but I don't really need any more Bosonic Antimatter. I think what I will do in the meantime is get more levels of this. I did get some off camera, but 
um, it's nice just to have a buffer of this while my runes are still low because it's annoying to have to get this I mean the thing is that this level is still low enough that I can level up individually so I guess at this point I'm just gonna be going for eternity bow sonic runes while I grind the z bosons and yeah it's still kinda slow in the beginning but it's definitely a little faster I think what just makes the only reason why it's not as slow as before is that these I already have these upgrades and the problem with that is that yes it's faster than before but it's not as exciting because I don't I cannot get these upgrades. So, yeah, I really wish there was another external cause of speed other than just antimatter. Because I know that's better, but I wish that Higgs bosons, like, what if, like, even this may sound dumb, but what if Bosonic Lab was faster based on your Higgs bosons and it was just Higgs bosons times faster? Like, that, that would be huge. I mean, okay, it would make the late Bosonic Lab overpower, so that may need to be balanced, but I think that would, if that was balanced, that would make for a much better Higgs Bosons era. So, yeah, see in another bit. Okay, it's been a little while longer, and you can see I have a lot more W plus, W minus Bosons, and yeah, I'm going to be able to get a lot more levels of this, but actually, no, I, I'll just... Um, actually, first, yeah, I can get this upgrade. So, th there's something. I, I, w I want I'd rather have this upgrade or this upgrade, but at least I'm doing something with this. And I guess I can just max this, and then um, I, I can safely max this, because then I'm just going to go for the one ghostly bosonic rune, so I can get that, to get this upgrade. So, now you can see, with all of, of that, I can get a ton I can get a lot more Z bosons. It's really just all the same. It's definitely a little faster than before, but it's not as fast as I may hope, considering I've done this a bunch of times. And actually, I checked the Discord recently, and um, I, found, I stumbled upon something interesting. And this is a new upgrade here that I didn't get. I didn't I never noticed that there was a whole new upgrade that I just completely missed. It's probably a Higgs thing. And, yeah, I can actually get it. However, I'm going to save that for next episode because I'm evil. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.